get started. Welcome to Chair Yoga. I'm Jerry Givens. Let's start by getting centered. So just sit comfortably where you're at in your chair. You can slide to the back if you'd like to, but do have your feet flat on the ground. It's a nice grounding moment to have your feet on the ground. And you can relax against the back of your chair if you'd like to and close your eyes. Just take a deep breath in and out. Inhaling slowly. And exhaling slowly. Slowing down the breath. When we slow down the breath, it actually helps to slow down the movements of your mind. The frenetic, chaotic storm of the mind starts to settle into a steadier space when we control the breath. So slowing down the inhale, taking our time, slowing down the exhale, taking our time. Feeling the breath move in your body, that expansion as you inhale in the belly and in the chest, that gentle contraction as you exhale, that slow breath being very calming and soothing to your nervous system, helping you settle out of that fight or flight state, that stressed state. We'll take just another three of these slow breaths. One more time. Good, and then take a deeper, fuller breath and allow your eyes to open, bringing yourself on back. <laughs> you might feel ready for a nap right now, but we're gonna do some movement. So go ahead and slide to the edge of your chair and have your knees about hip distance apart, having the heel stack underneath your knees, a nice stable base. Good, and have your arms relaxing down by your side. And we'll get some movement going in the upper body. So with your next inhale, go ahead and sweep your arms overhead, reaching them up. And then exhale, release your arms back down. We'll do that again. Inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, release the arms on down. Good, again, reaching up, feeling length in the sides of the body, stretching in the shoulders. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do a couple more, all right? Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Good, lift your arms overhead. This time, interlace your fingers at the top. Press the palms away from you, reaching up, stretching through the arms, the wrists reaching up. Now, sometimes what happens here when we do this is we start to back bend in our lower back. Try not to do that. A way to make sure that that does not happen is to feel your tailbone just kind of tuck under slightly. You might feel the navel pull back towards your spine a bit. Your core is engaged, reaching through the arms and wrists, deep breaths. Good, one more big breath, stretch up, inhale. And then exhale, go ahead and release the arms on down, feeling sensation in the shoulders, the arms, the hands. And then roll the shoulders back a few times, roll them forward a few times. Good, and then we'll do a bit more work with the arms, but we're gonna add in the lower back here. So go ahead and lift the arms overhead. Good, take a deep breath in. With your exhale, sweep the arms out to the side and fold forward over your legs. And then inhale, sweep the arms up to the side. Just reverse that movement to lift yourself back up. Strong back, let's do that again. Exhale, folding down. 
Inhale, coming right back up. Good, let's keep going. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lifting up. Good, let's just do a couple more rounds. Exhale, hinging at the hips, folding down. Inhale, lifting yourself back up. Good, once more, folding down. And then inhale, coming right on back up. Good, stay tall. Exhale, just release your arms down onto your thighs. Good, getting that spine nice and warmed up. We're gonna continue that theme. Keep facing forward. I'm gonna turn sideways. Good, hands on the thighs. Inhale, roll the shoulders down the back, open the chest toward the ceiling. Exhale, roll the shoulders forward and down, look down. Inhale, open back up again, shoulders down the back, open the heart. Exhale, roll the shoulders down, look down. Good, keep going. Inhale, opening up. And exhale, rolling, looking down. Now, as you continue, make sure that the movement is happening in the spine of the upper back, the upper spine, we can call it. The lower back stays pretty steady here. It doesn't move that much. It's helping to break up any stuck muscle patterns in the upper back. When we sit a lot, we tend to hunch forward a bunch, which can just start to take a toll on the mobility of the upper back. This just helps to break that up a bit. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, rounding. Inhale. And exhale. Good, inhale, open up. Then exhale, round your shoulders forward. Go ahead and stay in the hunch, the rounding. And it's okay to do right now because we're doing it intentionally. And you're squeezing your shoulders together in front of you, feeling your shoulder blades at your upper back widen, and then take some deep breaths into the upper back here. Creating some space between the shoulder blades. Good, and then inhale, open the heart, look up. Squeezing the shoulder blades together at the upper back now, chest opening, take some deep breaths into your chest. Good, all right, go ahead and shrug the shoulders up to help the head up to center. Relax them down, feel sensation. Good. All right, we're gonna do some twisting next. So keeping the knees hip distance apart, heel stacking underneath, sitting tall. Inhale, lift your arms overhead. And with your exhale, take your right arm forward, your left arm behind you, twist. Inhale, come back up, reach. And then exhale, take your left arm forward, your right arm behind you, twist. Good, inhale, reach up, come back to center. And then exhale, twist in the first direction. Good, let's keep going. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist, alternating sides, just getting some rotational mobility in the spine from side to side. Looking behind you as you twist. We'll do a few more rounds. Moving from side to side, warming up that spine, feeling that full rotation from down into the lower back, through the mid back, upper back, and then of course like the cervical spine, so the neck itself also twists looking back. We can forget sometimes that the neck is a part of the spine. <laughs> It is. We want to twist it as well. Good. One more time on each side. Good. 
Good. Then inhale, lift the arms up. And then exhale, hinge at the hips, fold over the legs, over the thighs, and stay. You can release your neck here, feeling your chin kind of fall toward your, your throat. And just take some deep breaths, feeling movement in the body. And especially with the upper body pressing toward the thighs, you may feel your um, back body start to expand and contract with your breath. Good, all right, inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, strong back, lift yourself all the way back up, and exhale, hands onto your thighs. Good, loosening up the spine, we're gonna do a bit more work now for your shoulders. Some of you know this one, but it's always a good one to repeat. Go ahead and lift your left arm overhead, and then bend the elbow, taking the left hand behind your head. And then with your right hand, reach up, grab the elbow, and traction the elbow toward the center line of your body as much as you can. Now the free hand behind you, the left hand in this case, is gonna to come toward your spine, toward your spine. And sometimes when you do that, the back starts to hunch. So lift the chest, look up. Good, now let's breathe here. Actually, let's come back to those slow, deep breaths we did during our centering, which is just what I said, slow and deep. Just inhale slowly. Feeling the body and exhale slowly, controlled breath. And that controlling of the breath helps us to sit with discomfort in the body a little bit better. We don't trigger into that panic response so much, which can happen when we feel this uncomfortable sometimes. And I know from experience that this pose can sometimes be uncomfortable. But we're gonna stay just a few more breaths. The longer we hold the pose, the better the release is when we come out of the pose. Deep breath in slowly. And then don't drop the arm, just slowly release that left arm down, feeling warmth, circulation, sensation down into the shoulder, the arm, the hand. We even feel like that left shoulder is dropping down a bit more. And that actually might be the case too. <laughs> Good. So we're gonna do the other side now. So when you're ready, go ahead and lift your right arm up and drop the right hand behind your head. This time the left hand comes up and takes hold of that elbow and traction it toward, again, the center line of the body as much as you can. And then the free hand behind you, that right hand, it comes toward your spine and then lift the heart and breathe. Slow, deep breaths. Filling the lungs slowly, emptying the lungs slowly. When we control the breath, we can control the movements of the mind. We can control our relationship to sensation. We can control our relationship to circumstance all by controlling the breath. Let's stay for just a few more breaths. I know it might be getting uncomfortable. Just breathe with it. Deep breath in. And then don't drop it. Just slowly release that right arm down, feeling sensation, warmth, circulation, return to that arm. Mm. Letting go of tension we didn't even know we had in that shoulder. <laughs> Especially with the arm that 
tends to be your dominant arm or whatever hand you write with, that tends to be a little bit tighter usually because the muscular definition is a bit more developed on that side, which means it probably just is a bit more <laughs> uncomfortable for you. Good, so we're gonna do a little bit more work with your shoulders. So go ahead and take your arms out to the side and then sweep your arms in front of you and have your right hand over your left hand. And then continue across and grab hold of your shoulders. Good. Now you might be able to inch the hands a bit further across, maybe even holding onto the shoulder blades, but just do your best to get as far across as you can. And then just lift your elbows in front of you. Good, so what we're feeling here is the shoulder blades separating at your upper back. And take some deep breaths into that space, the upper back here. Keep lifting the elbows. Keep breathing. Good, deep breath in. Exhale carefully, release the elbows down and then let go of that hug. Feeling sensation. And don't worry, there's another hug coming because you have to do the other side. So we did right over left, now we have to do left over right. So take the arms out to the side, sweep the hands forward, left over right. Go ahead and cross, grab hold of the shoulders, squeezing, and then lift the elbows on this side. Feels a bit different now. Breathe with that sensation, feeling the shoulder blades widen. Breath coming up into the upper back. Few more breaths, slow, deep breaths. Taking a deep breath in and exhale, release the elbows and release the hold. Good, feel sensation. It might feel good to roll the shoulders around a bit. We've done quite a bit for them recently, so they just might need some fluidity brought to them. <laughs> some gentle movements. All right. I just felt good to keep doing that. <laughs> now we're going to take our feet just a bit wider apart. So we're still on the edge of the chair. And then have your knees just a hair wider than your shoulders. All right. The heels are still stacking underneath the knees about, yeah. Yeah, right underneath the knees. So that way, if we lean to side to side, we don't fall over, ideally. Good. Now go ahead and bring your left elbow down onto your left thigh, and then roll your right shoulder back. Good. And then inhale, sweep the right arm up and overhead. And as you reach through that right hand, feel your right hip bone ground back down onto the chair. So it's almost like you're reaching in both directions, the hand reaching out into the side and the hip grounding down. Keep the right shoulder rolling back here, big length on the right side. Good, and then go ahead and inhale, come back up to your tall seat. And then we'll balance that out by doing the other side. So go ahead and bring your right elbow down onto your right thigh. Roll the left shoulder back and then inhale, sweep the left arm up and overhead. And again, as you're reaching through that left hand, the left hip grounds a bit more down onto your chair and keep the left shoulder rolling backwards. Deep breaths here. Creating space on that left side, the side of the body that houses the heart. So you're creating space around the heart, you can imagine the anatomical heart in this case. <laughs> One more breath here, reach. 
and then inhale, come back up. Feeling sensation. And then we're gonna put those two sides together into a flow, all right? So inhale, lift your arms overhead. With your exhale, bring your left elbow down onto your knee, left knee that is. Inhale, sweep the right arm up and over. And then exhale, return to a tall seat. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, bring the right arm down onto the thigh. Good, sweep the left arm up and over, inhale. Then exhale back to a tall spine. Inhale, both arms reach. Exhale, left arm down. Right arm reaches up and over, inhalation. Exhale, come back up. Both arms. Right arm down. Left arm reaches. And return. Both arms. Left arm down this time. Right arm reaches over. Good, exhale, come back up. Both arms again. Right arm down. Left arm reaches up and over, inhale. Exhale, returning. Good, let's do one more time on each side. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, left arm down. Reach, roll the right shoulder back. Exhale, come back up. Inhale, both arms. Good, right arm down. Reach the left arm up and over, roll the left shoulder back. Good, exhale back up. Reach the arms overhead. This time, exhale, fold between the legs as far as you can. Hands can be on the floor. You might wanna have hands on your legs. Depends on how much support you need here. Let's just take a few deep breaths. Good, one more breath. Then inhale, sweep the arms out, strong back, come all the way up and release the arms on down. Feel sensation in your body again, what's happening inside. Good. So we're gonna keep the knees shoulder width apart. I'm gonna turn sideways a little bit here for you, but keep the knees apart, all right? Kind of two stances we work with. <laughs> so knees just a bit wider than your shoulders. Lift your arms overhead. And then relax the shoulders down. And you're going to try to keep your arms up by your ears as much as you can. Deep breath in. With your exhale, hinge at your hips. Fold forward. Bring your chest parallel to the floor. Then inhale, come all the way back up. Good. Let's do that again. Exhale, fold halfway forward. Inhale, come all the way back up. This is helping to strengthen the lower back. Exhale again, halfway down. Inhale, up. Let's do two more. Two more feels good. Exhale, halfway down. And inhale, back up. So we will change up this last round a little bit. Come halfway forward and just hover there. Arms stay up by the ears as much as you can. Deep breaths. One more, you can do it, stay. Good, then inhale, come all the way up and release your hands down onto your thighs. Take a breath. All right. Good, so we're just gonna do a couple more postures. Just keep the hands on the thighs. You can keep the knees where they're at. Go ahead and roll the shoulders down the back. Open the heart toward the ceiling. Look up. And let's take a few breaths again into the spinal flex. Chest opening, heart opening.
And then shrug the shoulders up, helping the head back to center. Bring the knees hip width apart. Sitting tall, inhale. And then exhale, just fold over the legs. Hands can stay on the thighs or they can hang toward the floor and allow the chin to drop toward the throat again. Deep breaths. Feeling the movement of the back body. Let's take a couple more breaths. And then with your next inhale, roll yourself on up. Good. All right, go ahead and slide to the back of your chair. Be comfortable. We'll spend the next few minutes together in meditation, sensing into what's here for us. It's relaxing. Feet on the ground, that groundedness, rooted, supported. The entire planet coming up to hold you here in this moment. And relax into that in support of the planet. Relaxing into the idea that in this particular moment, you are completely supported. When's the last time you could say you felt completely supported? Because right now you are. The entire planet holding you up. The only thing you have to do right now is relax. I'll track time. You don't even have to worry about time. You are supported. Is there anywhere in your body that doesn't want to relax? The abdomen, the uh, jaw, your eyes, your shoulders. Can you bring your awareness to those points, maybe one at a time, and just invite it. If it's your abdomen that's tensing, just feel like you don't have to right now. Thank you for how hard you work. But right now we can soften, right now we can relax. And see if that helps. Maybe it's as simple as allowing there to be some space between the rows of teeth. Or maybe the eyelids don't have to squeeze together so much. The hands can unclench. The feet can ungrip. The shoulders relaxing just a little bit further away from your ears. And maybe just feeling a sense of ease as you relax, as you soften, and just be. Just be. And keep some of that calm with you if you can. Take a deeper, fuller breath. And bring the palms together in front of you. And rub them together, creating heat. And taking those warm palms over your eyes, brushing over the top of the head and down the neck, bringing yourself back to your space. Thank you so much for sharing in this practice. I hope that this serves you well. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you next time. Take care.